Hello everyone. Before science, the flash of lightning that followed a crack of thunder was the will of Greek gods or a violent outcropping of animism. Now we know a bit more about lightning. We know that it can be hotter than the surface of our sun. We know that it can absolutely strike in the same place twice. And we know that when it hits sand, it can create wonderful art. And we know people can mistake that art for a stick in the sand. A single bolt of lightning can deliver five gigajoules of energy, enough to power an average US household for more than a month. When such a powerful lightning bolt strikes a sandy area like a beach or a dune, the sand particles can melt and fuse together in less than a second. Sand melts at about 1800 degrees Celsius, but the temperature in a bolt of lightning can reach 30,000 degrees, or more than five times the temperature on the surface of the sun. If conditions are right, the fused sand forms long hollow tubes called fulgurite. The term comes from the Latin word fulgur, which means lightning. Although lightning strikes Earth at least a million times each day, only rarely does fulgurites form. Fulgurites are usually found beneath the surface of the sand, generally decreasing in diameter and sometimes branching out as they descend. Their shape reflects the path the lightning bolt took as it dispersed into the ground. Because of this, fulgurites are sometimes called fossilized lightning. Fulgurites look like roots, due to its branching, and have a rough surface, covered with partially melted sand grains. But the inner surfaces are usually smooth and glassy, due to the rapid cooling and solidification of the sand. The size and length of a fulgurite depends on the strength of the lightning strike and the thickness of the sand bed. Many sand fulgurites average an inch or two in diameter and can be up to 30 inches long, but fulgurites as long as 16 feet have been found. Some fulgurites can penetrate deep into the soil, sometimes occurring as far as 49 feet below the surface that was struck. Fulgurites can also form when lightning strikes rock, occurring as coatings or crust of glass, and sometimes as veins on the rock surface, lining pre-existing fractures within the host rock. Fulgurites have been described as early as 1711 and are found all over the world, from mountain peaks to the Sahara Desert, but are considered to be rare. They aren't precious, but are appreciated by many for their scientific value. By studying the distribution of fulgurites over a specific area, for instance, one can infer the occurrence of thunderstorm activity in the area during a certain period, which in turn can help understand past climates. 250 million year old fulgurites found in the Sahara has shown, or rather confirmed, that the desert was once a fertile region where rain thunderstorms were common. Although most collectors seek out fulgurite solely for its looks, some people believe the lightning stones hold magical abilities to help focus divine energy, enhance creativity, or heal various illnesses. Perhaps not surprisingly, some people enjoy making their own fulgurites, either by sticking lightning rods in sand before thunderstorms or using a high voltage power supply in a lab. The resulting fulgurites can be even more attractive than those created naturally. Although obviously, safety is paramount when engaging in these activities.